By the 1850s, a decade before the Civil War, slavery caused harsh disagreements among the northern and the southern states, and even within families. In New York, where slavery had been outlawed since July 4, 1827, and where many New Yorkers were active abolitionists, there were also divided loyalties on the slavery question as the banking and shipping industries maintained strong commercial ties to the cotton and sugar trading interests that originated in the South and in the Caribbean. The Lemon case presented a direct conflict between slaveholders and New York abolitionists. In 1852, Juliet and Jonathan Lemon, residents of the slave state of Virginia, decided to move to Texas, another slave state. For the first leg of their journey, the Lemons traveled on a ship named the City of Richmond from Norfolk, Virginia to New York City, where they disembarked and waited in a hotel for another ship to take them to Texas. In addition to all their worldly possessions and their seven children, the Lemons brought with them eight slaves. Emmeline, who at 23 was the head of her family, which consisted of her 16-year-old brother, Louis, her 13-year-old brother, Edward, and her two-year-old daughter, Amanda, and Nancy, who was 22, and the head of her family, which consisted of her twin seven-year-old sons, Louis and Edward, and her five-year-old daughter, Anne. Nancy's husband, the father of Anne, was himself a slave, 